So now let's take a look at the enterprise personas and some use cases. So let's say if you are new in GCP and if you want to enable different networking and security services in GCP, what we have seen that customer, first of all, are worried about providing the transit connectivity or providing the hub and spoke architecture in the cloud, okay? Because obviously you don't wanna create a snow, snowflakes or unicorns all over the place. You want to have this architecture approach. So this is where they start. And then they talk about providing the segmentation for the workload they deployed in GCP in one project, or it could be in multiple projects, doesn't really matter. So that's the very important use case we see. Then the issue of security or making sure that the traffic going towards the internet is secure becomes very important. So this is where we have the egress FQDN to provide security controls based on fully qualified domain names, not based on the IP and port based actors. Encryption I talked about is very important. How do I make sure when I'm connecting to the on-prem data center, the traffic is encrypted? What about the overlapping IP? I'm bringing more partners into cloud and I cannot control what IP they are bringing in or maybe it's the acquisition or merger use case. So this is what we see typically from the green field GCP customers. Now, if I talk about the multi-cloud aspects where let's say a customer is already present in AWS and now they are extending into GCP. So everything that you see, all the use cases you see on the left-hand side are also applicable here. But then their, their intensity increases. The problem statement or the pain point increases increase because of the, the nature of the multi-cloud. Now you're talking about segmentation across multiple clouds. Your blue subnet or VPC is here in GCP and then the blue is in AWS how I make sure that these guys talk to each other, but not to the green, for example. And then with the architecture that we have, we provide this common abstraction layer so that you don't have to learn all the underlying complexities and the services from these cloud provider. For you, it's just a single cohesive abstracted layer on top that you are dealing with. And that eventually increases the onboarding speed for your customers, for your business units, or for your partners. And this also provides the quick interconnectivity between the cloud. Because if you look at this line here between GCP and Azure, it is a multi-cloud link, but, it's, but it is not just an IPsec connectivity. There is a lot goes behind the scene, providing the high availability, making sure you have multiple path, making sure you're running ECMP, equal cost multi-path, making sure that if this link goes down, you have a way to connect to your other cloud provider through some other mechanism. So, so this is a lot that we actually help customers solve. And then the last piece is about the customers that are migrating into GCP. So there are some customers as a business, they decided that we will move 100% into GCP. And then there are customers who are saying that we will move bulk of our workload in GCP and we'll keep some in AWS Azure. So for those customers, this platform and the architecture approach is very relevant because now you can seamlessly move your workload into GCP without worrying about downtime or without worrying about learning and knowing the way things are done in GCP. And this, this is all done through a single Terraform provider. So the code that you write or have written in AWS is applicable in GCP. You don't have to make any changes there. Okay, so I showed you a lot of use cases and it looks very um, complex, but it is not actually. Because the reality is that when you want to deploy this solution, you don't have to boil this ocean all together. You can start from a very simple use case. It could just be a hub and spoke architecture, transit routing use case, or it could just be egress FQDN use case. And then you can grow from there. Right, so because everything just becomes plug and play after that, once you have this architecture in place. So don't worry about it. If you need help, talk to us, we'll help you resolve your pain points in GCP or multiple clouds.